Right now, many hospitals are trying to prepare for Ebola. And locally, hospitals are preparing too if their virus were to ever come to our area. Our Kerry Corrado got an in-depth look at how local agencies are keeping up with CDC protocol. Kerry, good morning. Good morning, Bill Lindsay. We have seen the video of a lot of medical staff fighting Ebola all over the United States. So we decided to catch up with our local medical experts and see how they're prepared to deal with it. Although it's very unlikely this will come, they say they are ready. A new thing uh, for Americans to be dealing with a tropical disease like this. It's no secret the deadly virus is a new concern in the United States. Hospitals are learning how to combat and control Ebola from spreading. It's killed thousands in West Africa and medical experts are trying to put an end to this epidemic. Uh, as the disease progresses, uh, there are a lot of things changing, even day to day, week to week, and so we need to keep on top of things. So. Harold Ashcraft, a doctor at Connor Memorial Medical Center, says staff have been monitoring the situation and keeping up with CDC protocol. He says although airports are screening passengers from the affected areas at international airports by asking questions and taking their temperature, not everyone set aside is infected. Uh, most of the people who have a fever are not going to have Ebola. It was only a few days ago Thomas Eric Duncan died. He was the first person to die of Ebola in the United States. Uh, that you've got to trace his contacts, make sure that you've got all of them at least under monitoring and uh, uh, make sure that they don't spread it to other people. But as for our area? So just to let everyone know, it's highly unlikely Ebola will come to our area and they can rest easy. Right. It, it, like I say, there's no native source of Ebola in this area. Uh, it would have to come in from outside. It's now, there seems to be new developments on Ebola every day, so they're keeping up with CDC protocol. But coming up, we're going to show you some of the equipment they have at Conema that they're going to use to help fight this deadly disease if it were ever to come to our area. But we are live in Johnstown this morning. Kerry Corrado, 6 News. All right, thanks, Kerry. We'll talk to you next half hour. All right, thanks, Kerry.